video of the unknown. What is it? Is it real? And what is it doing there? All right, Addie. <sighs> My name's Addie Gaddis, and I manage seven different properties over three different states from Indiana, Ohio, and Illinois. So can you tell us a little bit about Stark Saloon, why it's so haunted, and some of the rumors about it? Yeah, so a family lived here, and they had a saloon down in this area. There was actually a brothel right above us. And then the other side of the house was just their normal house. And the mom got sick. She had five kids running around, so she needed help since her husband was working over here. So she had her sister come down and help take care of the kids. The sister ended up having an affair with her husband, ended up pregnant. The husband wanted her to stay. They just wanted to be a big, happy family. <laughs> Are you with me or is yeah. this for real? <laughs> yep, true story. <laughs> Uh, as you can imagine, the wife, Jenny, didn't like that plan. She thought it was horrible. I mean, I probably would have said the same thing. I would just... <laughs> so she, she moved out. She left her kids, left him here, and went to stay with family members. And he started writing her letters, trying to get her to come back. Playing like the, hey, can I come back game? I miss yeah. you. Okay. So she returns back home. She walks through those doors right there, which is kind of crazy to think about, that we're sitting in the room where the event happened that I have heard about. The sister was still here, yeah. assuming that, right? Mm -hmm. What happened after that? So it started because of a letter that Jenny's aunt had sent the husband saying that she was sleeping around in the town wherever she had went to stay with her family members. Oh, we don't so... know if that's true or not. So the girl that left her kids and the husband and her sister here, mm -hmm. the aunt creates a rumor that she was sleeping around town wherever she went. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the story continues. Yeah. This gets interesting. <laughs> All right. The whole town's people said that they seemed happy because they walked from the post office back down to here and they were like, they seemed like a happy couple again. And then as soon as they got in here, he shot her and then shot himself. So everyone outside immediately ran in when they heard the gunshots and they gave the sister, I think it was a quarter, to get on a bus to go out of town to Terre Haute and kind of shipped her off, her and her baby. Like just leave town, it's not good to be here type thing? Yeah, because the whole town was like blaming her for everything and so they just shipped her out. I mean, rightfully so. I mean, it, it, mm -hmm. it does take two to tango, but it definitely takes one to, um, <laughs> to start the whole deal. Yeah. So I, I see that. Do we know inside this room where it happened? <laughs> Actually, hers was almost right where you're sitting. Oh. And then his would have been back a little further. This was not planned, was. by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I literally randomly set the two chairs up here and like, perfect, we're gonna interview right here. <laughs> Okay. I, it entertained me as soon as you put your chair there. I'm like, oh, that's a good spot. So that's why you were shaking your head. You're like, hmm. <laughs> Great. Addie, Addie let me put my chair right on top of where, you know, she took her final <laughs> breath. That's amazing. Now she's going to be targeting me. I, I mean, the brothel is right upstairs, mm -hmm. literally right above us. Yeah. Is that something that either of the sisters participated in or was this before they? We always thought it was a separate thing okay. until we talked to one of the relatives. Across the street here, right? And the comment that she made to us kind of made, and I don't know if she just doesn't know the history and just knew that she lived over here and what went on, so she wasn't sure, you know, which part she yeah. was into or if it was a... You know, I, I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if my grandmother, or like if my grandmother came to me and, and told me, said, hey, you know, your great-grandmother, she used to hoe around. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not really sure I'd be telling everybody that. <laughs> she was but, very upfront about it. Like we just wow. went over and she happened to see us taking pictures over here beforehand and yeah. Oh man, the folks of Rockville have an interesting story here is all I gotta say. You've said it before, the way that I approach an investigation is very unorthodox. I'm gonna ask permission from you to try to stir things up in here tonight. And I, I wanna take this way further than anyone else has, because there's only been a handful of people who've come and investigated this place so far. With that being said, do you think that we as a group, or even me, is it a danger? Is there something evil here? Or do you think like if I started flirting with a female spirit here, do you think there's a jealous fit of rage that would happen? Do you think that could trigger that? I do. I, I like your guys' energy that you bring to it. And I do think that you're going to get a lot more activity and stuff that some of the few people that have came here. Um, it's a weird place because you've got all the energy of, or like the emotional part of getting cheated on. Shoo, yeah. With your sisters involved, her getting pregnant, and then, you know, the whole part of he kills you and then kills himself. Right. And then they take you to the cemetery and bury you together in the same grave, which that would not make me happy. That would probably cause some issues. Yeah. You know, if post death. If I were her, I feel like I would be very angry. I'm not saying like she's evil, but I, I feel like there's a lot of anger from the whole From situation. both sides, probably. Yeah. Makes sense. I, I'll tell you this, just sitting in here, I mean, I'm no psychic, I'm no medium. I'm just a guy who filmed YouTube videos in some scary places. The energy is off here, mm -hmm. it is. I personally feel that this is one of these places where things could go south really quick. That's just mm -hmm. my first synopsis of it. And I wanna take it as far as I can tonight. Something just moved. I felt the vibration of the floor. I mean, out of the corner of my eye, you two are literally just standing right there. Okay. It's be a good night. <laughs> Starting already in the daytime. Thanks, CJ. Things aren't haunted in the daytime. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Sometimes things happen. It gets odd at night. You said that the the husband's name was John. Mm -hmm. Do we know the wife's name? Jenny. Jenny and John. Uh, so the newspaper called her Jenny. The um, pretty much all documents say Jenny, but her headstone says Jane, his wife. So we don't know if her name was actually Jane and they just okay. called her Jenny or I would hope that they didn't mess up her headstone. Let's hope not. Yeah. But yeah, but okay. we as we know her as so Jenny, Jenny and John. Jenny could have been a nickname then. So yeah. maybe that's like a, a a trigger word that we could use tonight, guys. Is saying, Hey Jenny or Jane. Or you could use her sister's name Bertha. Depending on what you wanna Bertha? file up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just, I need to shut up. <laughs> I'd probably be pissed if my sister's name was Bertha and then she cheated on me or cheated with my husband. That's such she a She was weird also 16. Thing. What? Yeah. Was mm -hmm. that normal? Like a normal age? How old was John? They were in their late 20s. Okay, so both of them were young. Mm -hmm. It's not like he was 40, she was no. 15 or 16. Okay. That makes a big difference in this because when I, I had a situation one time where we were ghost hunting in, um, in this farm and it was like these kids, they, grew, they were, okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> these kids were both 16 years old. They grew up on two separate farms right down the road from each other. And at that point they, you know, you grow up with someone and that's all you know is being together. Mm -hmm. And then when something happens like this where Oh my gosh, now, you know, you've only loved one person your yeah. whole life. That, that takes a toll. So if that was her first and only love, I can understand why she was so distraught by it and then she left and all mm -hmm. of that. Still wrong of her sister to do that in my opinion, but yeah, I think tonight we're going to do a lot of digging. I mm -hmm. mean a lot of it. And we're going to try to get as many answers for y'all as possible because being one of the first 
um, investigators to, to film here mm -hmm. and to actually perform some of the things that we're going to do here tonight. I think you all are really going to be pleased if we get some answers because now you can pass that along to everyone else who wants to book yeah. this location. I mean, if somebody wanted to come here themselves, they can get down and contact the link in the description if any of y'all are interested. Addy, thank you for opening it up for us today. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, I mean, if I scream like a bitch or something, we call you. It's fine. Just, you're what, 25 minutes away here? Yeah. Perfect. So put Addy on speed dial on three phones. <laughs> As you just heard the story right before this, this house has unprecedented activity. No one has really figured out what is going on in there. There's just rumors this could happen, that could happen. Tonight, on episode three of Fear Follows Facing, boys, we're gonna push the limits. All right, boys, tonight, I've got a little surprise for us that I'm going to do, and I thought this would be really fun. Here's what I want to do. This used to be an old brothel, it used to be a bar, and just all this crazy stuff happened in it. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, what would be a trigger object for the spirits here to react to? Well, what I want to do, I want to play a good old-fashioned game of rock, paper, scissors. Whoever loses has to wear a certain something, and you're not going to be able to see what it is, what do you think that's gonna be? Who the hell knows, dude? That's nothing bad. It's it's not like some skimpy outfit or nothing, but like. Well, not like for handcuffs, but I'm not yeah. like. It could be a pair of furry handcuffs. Could be a hat. Could be shorts. Who knows? You're already wearing shorts, so it's not that bad. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's set the cameras up here. We're gonna have a. We're gonna play a round of rock paper scissors, and uh, basically the first one out. You're the one who has to dress up in this. So confused. <laughs> How are all three of us gonna be able to wear this thing? Is what I'm wondering. No, no, no. The one first person to lose. Which one size fits all? It, I mean, it's if I were to wear it, it would probably be a little baggy on me. It oh. might be a little tight on you all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right. Uh, <sighs> all right, boys. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Right, so shoot. Right. How are we going to see those? I've been practicing all day for this, I'll right? You have. Yeah. Come on over here, Dom. All right. There we go. All right. All right, now listen, this is a treaty. This is like a pact. If you lose, you have to wear this. There, this it's not like, a, oh, right, no, I don't want to wear this. Yeah, rule applies with me, too. Yeah, okay. 100%. It's making me concerned. I keep saying, like, wear it, and it's a broth. Like, what the? Might be a corset. Who knows? All right, ready? I'm losing weight. They're not, not going to fit. That might fit. Like, all right. All right. Rock, paper. Oh, I'm just kidding. Hang on. <laughs> Dude. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right, right. <clears throat> Uno, do, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't Come on. Come on. <laughs> French. Ah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! You. Have fun, buddy. Hang on, let me go get this real quick. I told you guys you should not agree to things before you see it. We didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> just gotta show up, man. It's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Dylan, are you ready yet? Yeah, just about. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound so excited? Oh, dude, yeah, this is this is a great idea, guys. <laughs> Ready. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Dude, like, what the f you like, Sue? Wow, you're <laughs> like, 
Nein, ich schiebe mir den Riesen Kopf! Jesus Christ, bro. Ich hab's da so ein Schuldschild. This screams Delaware State Fair. Oh mein Gott. Dude, so much so normal. It's so weird. Is that one of your personal ones? Or? Hey, do a, do a spin for us. Oh, look at him! Lou <laughs> <laughs> Brown is ready, dude. I got two tickets right here. Oh that my. You better drop a like on this video for this, bro. Like, the way it like, just like shows right. your shoulders. And... <sighs> Dylan, you're a beautiful one, you know? <laughs> for real. <laughs> Dylan is a trooper. Please go down there. <laughs> Please go to the link in the description and just sub to his channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a long night. I'm not gonna be able to take anything serious in here. There's, no, there's, there is zero chance I'm taking anything serious with that. Except one of the hottest girls in Rockville, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I can't follow him around, there's no way. Hey, look at him. Chris, I'll be looking at my ass at the shrouds for <laughs> Easy, easy. I have a girlfriend. So, to get started, we're going to show you a quick tour of the house really quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at your camera. So we're gonna take you all on a quick tour of the house. This right here would have been the living room. Right here is the main entrance that you would be walking through. Now there's two different ways to do this. <laughs> yeah, I'll hope it. I'm gonna have to get him to change. <laughs> we're gonna catch him. The house is gonna levitate and that's all gonna be superseded by Dylan wearing a dress. All right, so right up here, if you were to walk in the main entrance, you could have gone down the hallway, turned the right, and that would take you into the bar area. Or you could go upstairs to the brothel to find a lady of your choice. Now, come on, who's you guys up there? <laughs> 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 I don't think it likes all the laughing. I'm not even kidding at this point. Like, I think, like, legit, you might have to take that dress off. Not on camera. That's weird. <laughs> but you get what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's, like, a trigger object already, but we're not even upstairs. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I'm so wow. Why stop laughing? You can't laugh up there. How do you not laugh at this? <laughs> Satan himself is waiting up here for us. Oh, damn, there's a room up here, too. Hey, let's turn all these lights off. How do we turn the lights switch off? Switch right there. Nope. Nope. Put that back. It's around here somewhere. Now you just turned the neighbor's power off. <laughs> <laughs> the lights switch somewhere. Chris, is there another light switch at the end of the hallway right there by where it comes around? Like to your right or anything? To your just left? unplug them. They're like strip lights. Yeah, but it's, it's like all strip lights. Oh, it's right here. Alright, hey. Oh shit. I need a flashlight. No, I'm for I need a flashlight. Here, let's go let's go into the bar. Let's go get a flashlight real quick. Yo, somebody keep an eye on that up there. I'm gonna need somebody to come with me for the camera light, because I can't even see. Where are the lights at? Oh, the brown in the brown one? Brown what? Huh? That was weird, man. That was really strange. Hey girl, there's a walking up there. There's walking up there? Yeah. Listen. Jeez. <clears throat> I'll be no good if the ghost rips that dress off of him. <laughs> All 
All right, so this was the brothel area right here. <clears throat> this is where all the magic happened. Whoa. Look at that, how weird is that? There's a door behind the, the fireplace. Yeah, so there's some rumors about that. What was the rumor about that? Um, that was either like an entrance to get up here back there, like a secret entrance. And I think the chimney was built afterwards. Oh. Possibly. Because how else would you get in? That would make sense. Oh, the floor's kind of shot, but it's okay. All right, this is an area right here, guys, where I say we set up a GoPro. And uh, we just, we let it run while we're downstairs. All right. <clears throat> if there's any spirits here with us right now, can you make a noise for us? Can you make uh, one of these pieces of the ceiling fall or anything? Can you talk to us? What is that? Is that downstairs? Can you repeat yourself? I say we lay him down in the middle of the floor and spread his legs out. <laughs> what? I just stepped on that. Yeah, what is that? A little tail or something. <laughs> was that part of your dress, Bill? Oh, there's a nice breeze coming through. <laughs> Would you lay down in the floor in the pitch black up here? You don't have to, I'm just asking, that's all. I lay down the floor, but the pitch black part kind of scares me a little bit. What if something comes up and grabs me? <laughs> it's going to come straight <laughs> up the bottom of that dress. <laughs> and no, I'm not doing a dollar. I ain't going to cheat date, honey. I don't know, you just lost a rock, paper, scissors game, and now somebody's wearing a dress. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, uh, kill your lights for a second. All right. <clears throat> What's up with the uh, baby crib in here? You know? Whoa, look at that. You got some old school dowsing rods. Let's try these puppies out. That was weird. Huh? Oh shit, that was good. Oh man. All right. If you are here with us right now, I want you to cross these rods. Does anybody else hear that? Yeah. Cross those rods if you're here with us. Whoa. Here it is. Yeah, I found somebody. Okay. Point in the direction of which you just came from. Okay, you came from that way. It's pointing towards the brothel, is that right? Can you cross those rods for yes? All 
I mean, they're basically crossed, right? Mm -hmm. Phew, that's what was that? Oh, it came apart. Oh. Why do they come apart like that? That's so weird. <laughs> Something rubbed my leg and I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. All of a sudden, have like a weird feeling that, like, it's gonna be pissed at him. Me? Yeah, because you're wearing like a dress. Like, what I thought was you're gonna be like a. I don't know. Wait, listen. Is that the red pod? crazy. CJ. He's already on it. Dude, the going nuts. Alright, who's upstairs touching that red light? How many spirits are in the room with us right now? Can you make a noise or a knock or something? Let us know how many of you are here. Yeah. Okay. We placed the red light upstairs, a little device you can go touch. That'll let us know that you're here with us. It makes a noise, it's not gonna hurt you, so. Holding. Oh. Can you give us more information? What does that mean? What are you holding? Is he home at the brothel? How do you feel about us being here? Does it bother you that we're not where people died? Sorry about what happened to you here, but we just want to communicate with you. We'll find out if there's any way we can help you. We will. Hurt? You. Who are you going to hurt? Come down. Here. Who are you gonna hurt? Are you gonna hurt Dylan because he's making fun of you? Is he in the room? 
Okay, you're in the room up there. I can hear you. We can all hear you. Is there anything you want to say to us? Say it into the device that my friend is holding in the corner of the room. Tell us how you feel about us being here. Kel? Him? Watch? Who are we talking about, Kel? Al? Ask him. Ask him. With words. Who are we supposed to be asking? Do you want us to go upstairs to the brothel? Make a noise where you want us to go. Oh my god, bro! Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all got that on camera? Yeah. Can you film it? Yes. Dude, the red box, I'm holding. I'm box. holding the. I'm holding the spirit box, and it like literally just like got snatched right out of my hand. Swear to you, never felt anything like that. There's a lot going on. Dude, the red pod literally was going crazy the whole time. Welcome. Who is this we're talking to right now? That's just him or me. So, I didn't want to hear it on. I'm, I, are you, I said it's important. Are you guys not freaking out about that? Or like, am I losing me? It's crazy. I don't understand. There's like... This is very powerful. Very, very powerful. They were talking about hurting you, though. They're hurting someone. Hurting me? He kept saying, I'll hurt you. He kept oh, saying, I'll hurt you. We'll hurt you. It's been doing this the whole time. Listen, listen, listen. There we go up there. I mean, that's that's all. That's the tall tale sign we need right there. Go upstairs. That thing's going nuts. Yeah. Camera right there is also catching it all. Literally. The all whole right. time you're in the spirit box, it's like the most active I've ever heard. Of. I. That's poltergeist type stuff right there. Like I don't know why. Like, are you guys okay? Because that's weird. It's very weird. It's very strange. I'm, I'm holding I'm holding it like this. I've got my thumb on the antenna, like I normally do. Yeah. Because you're supposed to use your body, touching with your, usually your thumb or your pinky, touching the antenna to help it broadcast further. I'm holding it just like this. Yeah. And it gets... Listen up. It's gone. It just stopped. It's just going crazy now. It's not. Where are you at? Are you upstairs? Can you, can you make that go off again if you're upstairs and wants to come up there? Are you mad at us right now? Holy oh, God! Shit! Oh shit! Listen. Yeah, it's mad, all right. Yeah, it's pissed. Grab all the 
paranormal gear, all the cameras, everything. Let's just go straight up there. I'm gonna grab this. So let me end up to mint right now. I'm I'm legitimately scared. I mean, that was, does that, that happen to you? That's a lot. Yeah, it takes a lot of energy to do that. Yeah, and the night is young. Here's what I want to do. I want to put the two cameras on the big tripods. The two night vision cameras. I want to put them up there. And we're going to, we're going to get this. We'll grab that, that one right next to you. This one here? Nope, the other one to your left. Well, we'll need both of them, yes. That one too. So, I think it wants us up here. I think it wants us to leave. I think it wants us up here, but it's just going to have to deal with it. Jeez. Alright, you want to set one up over there, Chris? I'll set one up over here. Yep. I'll the GoPro behind us in that corner. any spirits in here we've got a couple of devices if you walk in front of that doorway over there there is a music box that will go off it is motion activated all you have to do is walk right in front of it if you do it will go off it'll let us know that you are here also we all have these EMF meters right here these will go off let's go ahead and turn these on boys these will spike just like that okay are you around us right now I'm going to hold mine just like this. We all are. We're also going to open up a device to where you can talk to us. All right, boys. We're also going to be touching the money drop box right here. I know some of you were pretty angry. I know back in the days that brothels did not pay their workers very well. And if that is... Whisper. Hear us whisper. Okay? We're listening. We're listening. You can talk to us. If any of our EMS start peeking. Point it out. Yes, yeah, I'm going to point it out. Because I can't see mine. Yeah, I can't either. So. It's almost like a growl. That's what that sounds like. Yeah. A growl? As soon as you stop talking, it was like... Rawr. Can you walk in front of that device for me? English. That's, that's what we're speaking. Yeah. We understand English. We're yeah, speaking yeah. English. Might be a little, little twang in it. Do you all uh, accept credit or debit cards up here? They probably didn't even know what that was. That's probably no, they didn't. No, they didn't have credit cards. <laughs> like that. Leave where... me alone. You need to. This is good. Yeah. Let me let no. me just amp this up no. now. No. Yeah. No. It's already mad at us. Not being disrespectful, but what would happen in this room? Anomaly. An anomaly would happen. Okay, that's a polite way to say that you you know you got clapped. No, it is. It is like that. I don't know what that means. Courage. <laughs> okay, that's my dog's name, or it may have. Yeah, you want your phone out of all three of ours. That's how they're. Yeah, like that. that's weird. Full change. His thing was just spiking too. Memories here. Look at, look at his thing going off. Look at his spike. Oh yeah, his is going. Oh. Memories here. See, uh, memories here. Memories here in the dress. Oh, it went to Pound Town here, whatever it is. <laughs> it got clapped. Do you think I'm pretty? Turkeys were stuffed up here. There, there was some stuff being put in the oven. Oh, yes. Some push ups were practiced. There was a lot of polishing. 
The children play games. Oh, it's going with that kids. That was me. The children play games. Well, hang on. What if it's talking about one of the children that was like... You're right. Okay. That's very possible. Play doesn't mark up history. It does. <clears throat> Did anything bad happen to children anywhere in this building? I can use this. What was that? What's that guy over there? Yeah. You can come over here. Come talk to us. Yeah, we'll go around that way. Don't come up behind me. I'd rather you not. I literally feel like something's behind me. I have shit. That cold? Oh, Holy shit. shit! I feel that. Oh my god. I can feel that. Yeah. Something's moving. Oh, Look above. Look above. The light, maybe. Please don't drop saying. that light. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say, it's, it's face. freezing right here. Yeah, it's very cold. Like, my knees are freezing. What is here with us right now? Are there children? Ah! Whoa! Whoa! What? Dude, you hit just something to slap my face! What the f Are you okay? Is it red? Yours just said something, but it didn't go off. Julian. Does he look like somebody you know Wait. named Julian? I got literally slapped Jenny? in the face. Jenny and who? John. John. Jenny and John. Was his full name Julian? I can't see your face. You like... Ow! Like, I'm not trying to be a bitch or nothing, but like... Because you're antagonizing, probably. It doesn't like that. Who's touching my shoulder? Well, you kind of have, like, your probably shoulders out, Don. Julian. Well, I don't have my shoulders out, Chris. Thanks for that, bud. I want to touch him, too, but... Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I'm not having a Theodore. Is that her car? No. Sounds like Phil Dunn. You <laughs> heard me. You heard me. Do you have the key to the Honda? Yeah. Are right you here. sure? I'm just, you got one. Look at it. Touch it. Play with it. Feel it. Where is the key? I lost it in my pocket. You got there. Legos in there? <laughs> <laughs> what in there? <laughs> what? I'm the key. I don't know if they have a gold star. He's sitting there. Hers. Okay. Hers. Hers. Her. I was making her go off right there. Can you go touch the device right there? <laughs> <laughs> he's doing it. Can you keep, keep touch that device that he's are holding? Are you frightened? Uh, no. Yeah, no, we are. Yeah. Let's be honest here, yeah. okay? Just a little bit. Can you come up and touch my device again right here? Right up by my chest? Oh. You get a little feel with Dylan. Untie that tie. Let me ask you this. Okay. I was gonna say, did they his, don't really. The watches yeah. don't make anything no, go off. I was playing with the office the other day. These things are really good around phones and everything. Like they okay. don't. They don't go off. No, okay. which is weird. So wait, did I, I think that thing just spiked to the second one? Can you come up and touch this device right by my chest? It's really farm. The farm. The farm. Wait Where a second. Are you today? Are you following me from the farm? And why? I came from the farm. <laughs> you, guys, you guys have boots on too. So we did. Like yeah. Can you make a noise for us somewhere around here? Shot. Uh, oh, downstairs, oh, right downstairs bro. Yeah. We're right above it. We're, We're literally, literally right, right above that. Smell. smell. Shot and then smell. I mean, obviously, if you get shot, you're going to eventually yeah. smell. Yeah, smell that. Okay. Were you shot or did you shoot somebody? Answer us that. If that's you walking down the hall, can you walk in front of that 
That PMB box right there for us, please. Emergency. Yep. Well, I shot. mean, if you get yeah, shot, that's definitely an emergency. Yeah, just so you know, that box plays some really pretty music. It's very nice. You probably like it. You can dance in front of it if you want. I know. You know what? The I box mean, plays music? If you know the box plays music, why don't you go uh, jump in front of it? Oh, that thing was just going off. Sorry, my whole mic fell open. I just saw it though. I don't get why mine keeps going off. Because it wants you to do a little something strange for a piece of change. Okay? You're, you're kind of revealing yourself right now. There's a lot of scary You're very stories. revealing. Yeah, and we're in a brothel. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're one step away from one pom pom. <laughs> Well, the ghost. I don't consent. I'm engaged. Well, fuck you, this action. I'm engaged. I don't consent. Do you find one of us attractive in here? Maybe one. Worried. Worried? Uh, yeah, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried, but you blessed to find out she's more. Who Who do you think is the most attractive out of us three? Me or Chris, CJ or Dylan? Soil. <laughs> you soiled that bathroom. <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> Listen. That's someone humming downstairs. Those those cameras will those cameras will pick that up. Why were you shot? What's the real reason? Tell us! Oh my god. <laughs> Tell us! I'm going to leave. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I really didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I don't know. Nothing, not nothing was happening. Oh my god. I'm sorry. What can I do to fix this? Protection. Protection. Oh, I'm going to need protection, I guess. Oh, okay. they're leaving to go get protection. Oh, the kids, you mean? No, like they're probably leaving so they're protected. Oh. It was me. It was me, Ocean. Oh, that we're we're a little far from the ocean. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. Are you talking about the color of my eyes? I have ocean blue eyes. Oh, you see. Is there somebody standing behind Dylan right now? You can touch him, but he's wearing a dress. Shoes. The only person that has shoes on is Chris. We have boots. Am I the attractive one? Is that what you're trying to say? If you like. Absolutely. Oh, hey, <laughs> yeah. You gotta get some what ghost paint, boy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna go in the bathroom and clean up. That was the weirdest thing ever. Something went right behind your head. Do you want Chris up here alone so you can do things? Run with? now. Run now. I will appear. Run now or I will appear. I don't want to run. Do it. Show yourself then. Show yourself, baby. If you show yourself, Dylan will show himself. Wow, wow, wow. I can feel it. Record. Oh, yeah, we're recording, baby. Recording. All right. You want to make a movie? Well, that's my favorite. I literally <laughs> miss my calling. I'm serious. Can you walk by that doorway one time and just make that box go off for us? Prove to us that you're really here. Recognize. What do you recognize? The dress? <laughs> I'm sure my grandmother could recognize that too. You look like you straight up robbed uh, like a picnic table. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you even... Woman. You look like a woman. <laughs> Where did you even get this dress from? Marshalls. Marshalls has amazing stuff, apparently. I called my girlfriend. Morg. Um. Morg. So talking about the death downstairs, is that what you mean? Anna. Was that maybe one of the kids? That was one of the kids' names, wasn't it? I think it is. Was that Anna one of the kids' names? I think so. I'm like pretty sure it is. Ow. Anna, are you one of the siblings? Yes. 
I felt something on the back of my neck. I thought you were kissing my neck. What the hell was that? Dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anna, kiss, dude. Oh, here. Oh. That's something that would happen here. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, yeah. kiss, a dude. Yeah. Anna kissed a dude named Neil. Oh, okay. Good for Neil. Yeah, good job, Neil. The phone. <laughs> so, I mean, you brought a lot to these. I'm going to ask you to do something really weird. <laughs> Can you look that way and pucker your lips out and just see if a ghost will kiss you on the lips? Just stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's actually Chris got a month. Here. Plant them. Come on. Anna. Okay, I'm sorry. Next. Wow. Next. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Come on. Well, let's go. Bunker. <laughs> leg. Oh, leg. 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 Your leg. Oh, leg. Switch what your leg doing. <laughs> Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> They're having fun here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You kinky little spirits. And now you can see a little more of that. I'm doing the face. I mean, I wonder how much it cost back then. I mean, think about it. Like today. 42 cents. It's like, it's probably like less than a nickel. How about I sell my body for a nickel? Get you a little nickel back, girl. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that a song? No, nickel back to band. Yes. There's another saying of a nickel, but I'm not going to say it. Oh, no, it's, I like it when you do it right there. I don't know why I got nickel involved in Well, there's that. another sexual saying with the word nickel. 